Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome to day 12 of, uh, of Mega Aquarium. Really, uh, really happy this one went down well. I'm really glad you all enjoyed it. Can't wait to dive in with some more. Dive in, pardon the pun. Uh, we're going to build a jetty tank today. So I was working towards the Belfast tank, the big one down here. But a uh, jetty tank is giving us base prestige, which is great. Uh, it's new, you know, that's kind of what you want to see, right? You want to see the new stuff. So we're going to build the jetty tank. It's already unlocked. Uh, here it is, jetty tank. So basically this is... A, a tank that has a set of stairs up to it that we can drag out and let people come and see. So I'm going to go this way with it. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. We're going to go this way with it so as we can we can put it down like that because then we can extend this bit of wall here. What's up with you? Oh, no. People can't repair you. Okay, let's just move you to there. There we go. Um, because then we can extend this little bit of wall out and it will uh, and it'll be me we can get the filters and stuff to it that's what I'm kind of thinking so we need three different animals in the jetty tank so what fish do we not have now again I oh yes we can look we've got five of those four of those I was gonna say we can't find a thing that says we've got them all now but we can look it's here so we've currently got some saltwater fish we have a panther grouper um, we don't have any red tail butterfly fish, and we don't have any volatons lionfish, and we don't have any hermit crabs either. So there's actually quite a few we can put in there. I think we have all the current freshwater fish, yeah. So we're going to do a saltwater jetty tank. There's the Belfast one. Less interested in that now, if I'm honest with you. Uh, let's go for the padded room. <laughs> padded bed. We need a padded room for anyone who gets so crazy looking at fish, right? Okay. What's the mail we got? Uh, Nancy's leveled up. Nice. Let's get you good at uh, cleaning, Nancy, because we could do with some uh, cleaning. There we go. So the base prestige. There we go. So let's build this wall out here. Okay. And then let's open up the floor here. Uh, let's fill in that bit of wall there before anyone decides to come and join us. Can we do that? No. Okay. Well, we'll do that in a moment. So here should be enough space to, to sort this one out. So, Hermit Crab, let's make... Uh, hello, we've unlocked the Red Striped Earth Eater, Tinfoil Barb. So, these have a couple of choir requirements you've not seen before. The first explorer means they want lots of different decor. It uh, includes different types of plants, rocks, caves, but also theme decorations like the barrel and shell. Second is Bog Water... Bogwood Lover. Um, that was my nickname in college. Uh, this means they like to have a certain amount of bogwood in the tank. Okay, bogwood is a new type of aquascaping. It behaves just like plants, rocks, and caves. Sadly, add enough to the tanks to meet the community of requirements. Oh, simply, sorry. Okay, so just it's a new thing to put down. All right. So let's pause the game a second so we can figure this out because we want to get some saltwater fish here in our jetty. So, panther grouper, what do you eat? Mussels? Uh, may eat all animals uh, blah, 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 add damage animals with size one or two or crustaceans one to five so we can't have you mixed in with the hermit crabs um, so you can't so you do you eat crustaceans what do you eat oh, so you eat crustaceans as well okay so what what doesn't eat red tail butterfly fish are you gonna eat crustaceans okay so red tail butterfly fish doesn't eat crustaceans um so we can't have you in with other darty backs so we could have we could have one of you unless as long as you're not a wimp you're not a wimp stony corals clams and gorgonians which is none of you, your crustaceans. So we could have some crustaceans. We've got three of you in there. Right? And then we'll also go for the butterfly fish. We'll put five of you in. We can have one dotty back. I'm pretty sure you're fine to go in there. Okay, and and then, and that's happy now. So we've got our base prestige up now. Obviously, the fish themselves aren't so happy, but I feel like we can we can make them happy with a few things. So they want uh, power combi, of course. Uh, boom, two. They need a lot. They need a lot of temperature. 
Have we got anything that's just like just heat yet? Power heater, there we go. Oh no, it's only a small one. Do we have we have a basic heater with a power heater? 36. What's the combi one adding? 40. So actually, no, the combi one's still better. It's just costing more to run. Power heater. That has to be adjacent. Woucher. Okay, so let's let's unlock that there. And just take this wall out that way. Well, one more then. Just for now. You can go there. And then we can delete you and you. Okay, and then we can put it... Let's move you then. Uh, move you to there. Oh, that's going to annoy me. Sorry. <laughs> move you to there. Okay. And then power heater, power heater. Is that enough now? Wow, no, you still need another one of those. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is a, a hot uh, thing. So hold on, we can put a pump in here, right? To you. And now we can do that. And get rid of you. And let's see if that works. Okay, it's a bit messy, but it should work. Now we need some rocks. They insisting on rocks, so we can definitely sort that out. Uh, we have small rocks. Let's do a rocky overhang. I think it looks good. There we go. That gives them a bit of cave, even though they don't, they don't want it. Um, feather Kalu Kalurpa. Oh, yeah, this is cute. Let's get some of that in. Again, they don't need it necessarily, but it looks good. The, I think the kelp looks really good in these nice deep ones as well. So we'll do some of that. This is a cool looking tank. I would, I would be very stoked to come here and see this. I want to do some uh, rubble as well. And some small rocks. There we go. And that's helping with science. It's helping with like, no, filtration it helps with, right? Now, I wonder what happens if we uh, paint this. Oh, it's, it's the bottom of it. I want a little bit of that as well. That's cute. Okay, that's good. I'm into that. All right. And I feel like maybe something in there as well, like some netting or something. Just underneath, just to make it really interesting to, to be under there and checking it out and stuff, you know. Um, you'd be, you would be happy about coming to see this. Boom. That is a cool looking tank. It is not currently open. So I feel like we can open up this bit of wall now. So we can open up that bit of wall, and then I'm going to block it back off again just there for now, because we don't want people around here. But with this area now, we can um, we can start... Oh, no. I don't want to sell the big tank. We can start working on this one here. So we've still got two sea fish. Uh, sorry, freshwater fish that we need to put in. Um, freshwater species, five of seven. But we now have those available. We've got the, uh, the red-striped earth eater, who's the bogwood one. And we've got the, uh, oh, that's it. Oh, we're, and we're researching the last one. Okay, so I think the obvious thing to do here would be just one more wall uh, fellow put in place. So let's go for one, two, three, four spaces there. And we'll do a deep wall tank. Um, I mean, we could do something. We've got a bit of space here. We could do something a bit different. We could do an observer tank. Which is a tank that sort of sticks out like that, and then and then we could maybe move that. There we go, just to kind of keep a bit of variation. Yeah, that's good. Still got plenty of space to get by it. All right, nice. So we need some space to get up to feed them. Uh, I'm going to keep. We can't do that there. It's got to go there. That's fine. And in there, we're going to put this new one, this red striped earth eater who needs bog wood and some caves and oh, five or more different decorations. This one might be tricky. How many of a group can we have of these? It's a wimp, can't be bullied. Shoulder needs to be in a group of at least two. Okay, so let's put three of those in there. Four. Four of those in there. Okay. 
So we need some bog wood. We need some cave. Okay, so let's get that in first. Driftwood. Bog wood piece. I mean, it literally is just a piece of bog wood. So cave. That should cover the cave usage. Okay, bog wood. Uh, where have you gone? Bog wood piece. Oh, that's literally... Oh, my word. You want a lot of bog wood. Okay. Uh, so what's wrong with you now? Temp. Let's do temp and uh, and filtration so that it's just out of the way. Because <laughs> that's a pretty simple one. We just need some of this usually. So that one goes in. And that one goes in. Okay, so you've got that and that. Vegetables. So you're not quite happy yet because you still don't have the number of decorations you need. So let's get it. Oh, you're a freshwater one. So let's get one of those little plants in. I think that's probably going to give us more to play with. Okay, and maybe some small rocks. And we need one more thing in there. So actually, let's... I'm not going to put like a barrel in or something. Let's go for some of that stuff. There we go. And that should be five things now. So you've got everything there. Obviously, you're going to get bigger. Hopefully, there's still plenty of room for you. Um, you also need some vegetables. Okay, which we can definitely get for you. Vegetables dispenser. We can put you there. And people can still get to that thing. Okay. New tank gone in. Looking happy. People over here are needing the restroom quite a bit, so that is something we can fix by adding some of those in. We can just do a little double hole like that. I think these look good when they're set back. I really do. I think that's a, a cool way of doing it. And we can do basic toilet there. One, two. There we go. And look at that. Timing, lady. Or what? Perfect. She's like, I wish the toilet would just appear in front of me here. That would be really useful. Um... So we are starting to earn more now. We've got rank 5. We're not earning enough from freshwater displays. That's going to help because that is a new freshwater display. And whatever we do next will be freshwater as well. After that, I think we might have to do another big freshwater display as well to get that, that 500 prestige up. Because we're going to struggle to get that up otherwise, I think. Um, let's see how people are doing here. Mostly uh, thirsty. I mean, there's a drinks thing there. We could probably... Maybe do another set of those around here. There's a little bit of trash. Which I'm hoping you're going to spot. I'm guessing you have. Beautiful. Okay. A lot of stuff just pottering about. I mean, that's fine. There we go. They all need feeding again there. So off you go. Get started on that. But otherwise, we're okay. Not many making their way over here. Maybe it's a bit of a long way to go just to come and see like three fish in a huge tank, maybe. I mean, what could we put... Could we have more of these in there? Red tail butterfly fish? They're very happy about life. Um, this is a saltwater tank, right? What else could we go? We don't have many of that could maybe fit in here with us. Panther grouper, you eat crustaceans, so you're no good. You eat crustaceans as well, right? Oh no, here we go. Flame fish, you could go in. You could you could totally fit in here. Green pellet, stony corals, clams. Yeah, okay. I think I think you can go in here. Okay. Not quite enough water quality. No, I think to fix that, we can... Uh, if we move you... Oh, you're not connected to the pump. That's kind of irritating. Let's just move you there. There, there. Okay. So if we can move you out one... Oh, it moves all the stuff with it as well. That's neat. And you go to there. Then you move to there, you move to there. Try, this is We're struggling for space a little bit here, but I think we can stick a protein skimmer onto this, and that's going to help with that filtration. There we go. Okay. People are coming up there, they're happy, they're coming to see what's going on. Lots of nice fishes up here, folks, in the jetty. That looks cool, doesn't it? I like that. So what I'm thinking is we put this last freshwater fish... Oh, timing or what we put this tin foil barb just in its own little thing here um 
and then we do a Belfast tank of as many fresh water fish as we can. I think that should do it. That should do what we need. So these can be a little problematic because they are both a plant lover and a plant destroyer. <gasps> plant destroyers have a chance to destroy plants each day, but the chances decrease the more plants there are in the tank. Okay. The trick with plant destroyers is to have sufficient plants so the description is spread out and no single plant gets too much attention. Complete the following objective to get your hands on another freshwater plant destroyer, the Paku. So... A freshwater tank with three barbs, all met, and zero plant destruction chance. And we get a paku, a paku for that. Okay. So, let's pause. We're going to have to start another set here. So, I'm thinking we do kind of like what we've done here. Little tanks with a, with a run along the back. That seems to be the most sensible way of doing this. So, if we do this space here, that seems about, should be about right. And we put in a wall, a door, a wall. No, let's do, let's just put the door there. There's no need, no need to make it extra. And then we do something like that. Okay, so now staff can get around here for now. Okay, so deep wall tank. Let's go one that way and back one. Okay, and we're gonna place our new fish in here. We will do a wall, uh, the platform thing there, and then there's a there's a akin to have another one here eventually. Then I suppose, and then we've still got room for heaters and stuff. Shouldn't take much this one. So fresh water, where are you, you new one? Uh, Tin foil barb. So let's have a look. Twenty four active swimmer requires a tank of at least twenty four. That's fine. We've got that. Uh, lots of plants, lots of open space. Uh, three of you at least and cockles and um, what's that it's 33 percent more food so i'm just going to put one two three in there that's it that's that's what we're getting now we can do the uh the, the power combi should two of them i think should be fine yeah for now at least maybe a pond skimmer to help those out and we need six plants we need a lot of plants in this one so the problem is with freshwater plants is we don't really have much to choose from so one two Three. Oh, they actually are enough. That's cool. Okay, so if we do some of those along the back as well, I mean, that seems like it should be plenty of food, right? Plenty of plants, that is. Is there a way of actually seeing it? The more... There is a zero... Oh, there we go. There are three plant destroyers and 16 in the tank. There is a zero chance that this animal will destroy a plant each day. We are... We are superb. Okay. So, we just need to feed them. And, and they're happy. Cockle, cockles dispenser. Uh, okay. Plant destroyers. So, what do we need to do? Three team for barb. All requirements met. Zero plant reduction chance. I think I can handle that. Oh, I haven't actually accepted it, I see. Looks like you've mastered the art of keeping plant destroyers. Here's another for your collection, Paku. So, are you a... We now have the 7 of 7 look. Are you a new fish? Or are you just a free one? Oh, no, there you go. You are a new fish. You are... But we can order more of you. So, what do you need? Do you need 3x3 three three open space? And how many of you? You're not a shoulder. But you get big. Oh, you're a big dude. Active swimmer. So you need a decent space, but you are just one. F oh, oh, no, no, no. What's happening here? Stop, stop, stop what you are doing, folks. You are all going the wrong way. You need to please put a staff door here. Right. Oh, your staff. You're okay. Right. You come here. What are you saying about angelfish? The flame angelfish looks stressed. What's up with you? What do you not have? Oh, you can't be housed. Oh, okay. Well, bye, bye then, fishies. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, fish gang. Okay, you, dudes, get here, please. You, cheeky. Here, please, thank you. Uh, is that it? Yes, staff door is done now. Okay, nice. All right, so what we should be able to do then is just get rid of these bits here now. 
and re-put the wall back in over here just for a minute just so we can really keep on top of stuff but then we get another deep wall tank here that's not what I wanted to do let's try that again how are we doing for cash by the way deep wall tank we have where's money 4,000 okay so no it doesn't go there does it one let's take it back okay so uh 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 Pat, let's just do these, sorry. Uh, fixing is always good. Yeah, fixing both of you. Plant destroyers. Uh, problems shared. So, Pack you. You go in there. Okay, so you are... You're a big boy. Lives on his own. Alright, needs lots of plants. So. Let's put some freshwater swords in here. There we go. And I think I think that's a good way of doing it. Put that corkscrew stuff along the back, right? Plenty of, plenty of happiness there. And then we'll do uh, uh, power combis at the back. Should be enough for you. Okay, and you need vegetables. So we'll get some of those over here as well. Let's have a look. How are you? You're not too happy. What's wrong with you? Insufficient oak space. These are decorations will build a large tank. Right, so you need a 3x3 three three space. Um, and that's... And cannot grow until retirement is filled. That's fine. So it's just that one bit of space. So, if we come into here, find that decoration there, right, and move you to there... And move you and just get rid of you. You should now have a 3x3 three three space. Okay, now as far as planting goes, there are three plant destroyers and 14 in the. No, they're not three plant destroyers at all. This is a heavy plant destroyer and counts the same as three regulars. <gasps> oh, look at that! We won! Woo! We got our 500 points from it. Okay. However, all good things must come end. You received word of an interesting project in, uh, in Paskovka, and they want you to head it up. You can continue to build here in Hitama for as long as you want. The message will be staying in your message box, accessible by the, uh, the button on the bottom left. When you're ready, uh, click the project. So, I'll be honest with you, I was, I'm was i surprised we managed that without building one big old tank, right? So, what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to bother building a big tank, because I would much rather work down to... Um, choose later. I would much rather work towards a, a bigger thing. All right, because you know this is a this is a um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? A, a career level, right? So instead, all I'm going to do is open that up. To be somewhere to come and look at the fishies. We've unlocked Paddy Bench, but don't even feel like I need it anymore. I'll throw a bin down there. Okay, and there we go. We've got a we've got a complete loop. Pick next research. Go on then. Power pump, whatever. Um, and there we go. We made a loop. I always try and make a loop if I can. I feel like that's the best way of going about things. It means they get round. They see what's going on. They, they don't miss a trick. Um, the only thing I would probably do is look at doing some like fizzy drinks and chocolate machines here. Because we've got a big gap between... Oh, there's some there. There's some there. And I think we put some over here as well. Did we not? Yeah, they are, they're all quite close to each other. But they kind of fill the area, right? So I'm kind of happy with that. There we go. There's our first one done. That's not bad. This is going to be a bit of a shorter episode because I'm going to save the next one till uh, till the next episode. We'll start fresh in pa pa Paglovia. Paglovia? Uh, feeding. You win. Where are we going next? Paskovka. To Paskovka next. Thanks so much for watching. Until the next one, be good.